All right, you guys, we are going to be talking about seven things that you probably didn't know about Goodyear, Arizona. I have many videos about Goodyear, but I keep getting asked these questions. All right, so we're going to get into it. I have my little furry friend right here. I'm not sure if you can see him. Razor, Razor. He's deaf. Um, he's also going blind. He's my little Razor Ray. He's the cutest thing in the world, and he's never been on a YouTube video before. So we're kind of excited, and we're taking a field trip today. <laughs> Best thing about Goodyear, Arizona is the location. It is right next to the 303 and the I-10. Literally right up here, the 303 and the I-10 connect over here in the West Valley. And Goodyear is technically considered Southwest Valley. And it goes further down south as you get into the East Ray Mountain Ranch community, which is right over here. And with that being said, that means there's gonna be a lot of growth out here in the Goodyear area. And it's not just because of the freeways. One main reason why Goodyear is growing so much is the amount of job opportunities that are coming out here. But we'll get into that one later. Goodyear is only a short drive from Phoenix, which gives a lot of amenities for you who are looking to live in an area that's not too close to downtown. You don't necessarily wanna live the city life, but you do wanna be able to get there fast enough to be able to go bar hopping or go to events or go to music festivals, go to football games and basketball games and all of that. There's still so much that you can do. There's still so many amenities that you guys can get to when you live in the city of Goodyear. The drive to downtown Phoenix is anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes. The drive to Scottsdale is going to be anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on the time of day and traffic. If you're wanting to get to Tempe, you're looking at 25 to 35 minutes. And then most importantly, if you are wanting to get to Sky Harbor Airport and you want to hop on a flight, it's going to take you at least 30 to 35 minutes from the city of Goodyear. All right, so one of the other best things about living in the city of Goodyear or just in Arizona alone is the location, you guys. And I don't mean location by like, geographical standpoint, like how close is the freeways and how close are you know all of these things. What I mean is like the absolute beauty of the Sonoran Desert. You have, yes, dirt and dust, but it is absolutely beautiful out here. It's a different type of beauty. It's not like, you know, New Jersey when you're on the Garden Parkway. I think that's what that's called. I've only been there once and it was like, the most green I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, because I am born and raised in Arizona with dust and dirt and the Sonora Desert. But you're gonna see cacti, you're gonna see wildflowers, you're gonna see cacti flowers, you're gonna see plants that you have never seen before in your life. And this is one of the big things that a lot of people, when they come here to Arizona, they're completely shocked by because they don't realize how beautiful it actually is. Most people think Arizona is just dirt and dust and rocks and heat. And that's it. <laughs> All right, the another thing that a lot of people love about Goodyear is the sense of community. This is a phenomenal place for families. And I have families moving here to Goodyear all the time and it's not just because of how close the neighborhoods are or how you know great the schools are it's because there's also so many things for families to do with each other like we have the new goodyear rec center we have the new goodyear library the new goodyear city hall all of these great parks in goodyear we have um hiking trails we have the ballpark we have spring training we have lakes out here in goodyear up in australia mountain ranch you guys there's so many things to do and that is one reason and why everyone loves coming to Goodyear because it is so great to raise the kids, to be part of their lives, to play outside, to live a different type of lifestyle. If you're coming from California and you're working, you know, 30 minutes away, it probably takes you about an hour and a half to drive, right? Here in Goodyear, you're not really gonna get that. And with that being said, it gives you more time to hang out with the kids. On top of that, Goodyear has a ton of community opportunities and volunteer opportunities. So if you have teenagers or if you guys are wanting to get involved in some volunteer work, Goodyear has a lot of opportunities for you. All right, so we're gonna talk about spring training, you guys. Spring training is out here in the city of Goodyear and it is one of the best events of the year. We have the Cincinnati Reds out here. We have the Cleveland Indians and Kansas City Royals. Oh, that was a big yawn. So we have a lot of teams out here. Now that's only in Goodyear. We're not even talking about the Peoria Sports Complex. That is the home base for other teams like San Diego Padres and other Major League Baseball teams, you guys. We have downtown Phoenix, we have Scottsdale. There's so many places here in Arizona for spring training. So if you're a sports fan, Goodyear is the place that you guys wanna be. And Goodyear is, like I said, so close to everything. You can get to everything pretty quickly. I think we're going into number four now. I forgot to count. 
But number four, you guys, is the schools out here. A lot of people love the school districts out here in Goodyear, Arizona. One of the best schools that I've been told from a lot of my clients is the Estrella Mountain Ranch Community Schools out there in the Estrella Mountain community. I've heard all great things about the schools out here. Definitely do your research when you guys look at these schools. So earlier I was talking about a lot of the job opportunities that is coming here to the Goodyear area. One of the biggest job opportunities is the new Amazon warehouse that just got finished being built in 2022. On top of that, we have PepsiCo that isn't too far away. And the thing about living in the sunny state of Arizona is there's always an abundance of things to do. So if you're looking to move to Goodyear, know that you're probably never going to be bored. On top of that, because like I said earlier, the amenities of downtown Phoenix and Scottsdale and Tempe are not that far away. Razor is like glaring. I can't even word right now. He's like glaring out of the window. He's watching cars back go by. But a lot of you guys are probably wondering, why the hell do I have my dog in the front seat of my car with me? Well, I'm taking him exploring. He is 11 years old and 10, 11 years old. He's going blind, he's going deaf. He's like my little ray of sunshine. And yeah, so look at him. He's watching the cars go by. He's just enjoying life, man. He's living life to the fullest right now. I used to take him on a hike every single day and <laughs> I haven't been able to in a while. So we are going for a car ride today, right Razor? He's like, yeah, and just leave me alone, let me enjoy. Anyway, so I guess that goes into some of the things that you can do here in Goodyear, Arizona. You can literally drive around. We're literally parked on the side of a dirt road right now and he's just he's just chilling while I shoot this video for you guys. <laughs> but yes, a ton of things to do. Because it's so warm here, because it is like a tight-knit community, there's a lot of activities for the kids. Every year we have the hot air balloon festival every year here in Goodyear, Arizona. We have spring training here. We have tons of hiking trails, lakes, so on and so forth. We have off-roading. Um, we have off-roading trails out here. If you guys want to take your razors and your dune buggies and go, but please be respectful. If you guys choose to do that, be very respectful of the community and the people that actually live here. We also have the Goodyear Lake Fest. We have ballet at the lake every year. We have music festivals at the lake up here in Australia Mountain Ranch. We have so many activities. It is insane. Ballet under the stars and the fireworks. So you guys will never be bored here in Goodyear. Now here in Australia, we do have a ton of hiking trails and we love hiking the trails out here, especially in Goodyear. There's other hiking trails throughout Arizona as well obviously there is a ton over hundreds of hiking trails but here we have the Australia Mountain Regional Park and it's only about seven dollars to drive and park and you have multiple hiking trails there you can camp your RV there overnight it is one of the best places to go hiking here in the West Valley and it's a hidden gem this regional park isn't very popular yet it's not as popular as White Tanks because it doesn't have as many trails but we are looking at the mountain daily and we're seeing more and more people come day after day. Now, we're going into number seven, you guys. Biggest thing about Goodyear is the price point. It is very affordable if you are looking to move here. The average home price was about 560,000 last year in 2022. Well, guess what? That price is coming down now. So if you guys are looking to move here, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am an Arizona licensed realtor here in the state of Arizona and I'm helping people move here every single day from all over the US. I only work with relocators. So if you guys are looking to relocate to Arizona and maybe Goodyear is not the best for you and you're wanting to look at other places like Scottsdale, Maricopa, Buckeye, Peoria, Surprise, let me know. Give me a call. I'm here to help answer all of your questions and help guide you through the home buying process. If you're looking to move here, comment below M-O-V-I-N-J. They are um, riding dirt bikes out here right now and that is what he's staring at. So, and that's what you guys just heard. Anyways, if you're looking to move here, comment below moving M-O-V-I-N-G and I will send you over my personal home buyer's guide to help you relocate here to Arizona and to help make that process a lot smoother for you. Right, Razor? Razor won't be here for all of our showings. He's just here for the video today um, because you guys, when our pets get old, you know, they're like family from the day we get them. I want to make sure he lives the best life possible. And I mean, I haven't been able to been around him these last couple months because we've been in the process of moving. So we're really excited. Um, but yes, let me know. Give me a call. I'm here to help. <laughs>